and a very warm welcome to you. I'm Hayley Palmer. It's so good to have you here with me on a Saturday night. Now, tonight's special guest are the Vapors. Yes, I'll be speaking to them individually uh, due to social distancing. But here is what happened when I caught up with them. Dave Fenton, it's great to have you here. How are you doing? Thanks, Hayley. How are you? Yes, really good, thank you. Uh, such a pleasure to have uh, you and the Vapors on the show. Unfortunately, we can't all be together today due to uh, social distancing, um, but it's great to chat with you all individually. Now, the first song we're going to play out, of course, is Turning Japanese. I mean, did you think this song would ever be such a huge success? No, you never know, do you? I mean, I didn't think anything no. would be a success. No, no, exactly. Very lucky when it happened. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And I just think, I mean, it wasn't just a success in England, it was a success internationally. I mean, I saw something where you said, my goodness, it was number one in Australia and you hadn't even been there at the time. That's right, yeah. We went there afterwards. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. And um, I've seen that Turning Japanese has been in quite um, a few films, hasn't it? I've got here um, Charlie's Angels, yeah. Jack has the movie. How cool is that? It's good. I enjoy that. Yeah, yeah, yeah really special. Uh, well, we're going to play out uh, Turn in Japanese. Uh, it was number three here in the UK in 1980. Uh, such a great tune. As soon as you hear it, you just know it's uh, Turn in Japanese straight away. Uh, enjoy it and we'll see you after. Okay, we've got a question uh, from one of our viewers, Katie. She wants to know, uh, where did the inspiration come for your brilliant songwriting? All over the place, so and, uh, some of it I just enjoy putting myself in other people's shoes and writing from that perspective. But then I've been yeah. I've been called a, a journalist because of that rather than a songwriter. <laughs> Oh, wow. OK. OK. Brilliant stuff. Oh, we're going to go into your first 80s tune that you're going to pick for us. Uh, David Bowie, Let's Dance. This is such a great track. Why have you picked this song for us today? Well, thinking about it, I mean, it's not necessarily my favourite Bowie track, but he has massive hits every decade. And this yeah. was another massive one, which is just brilliant and yeah. original, original at the time. Yeah. No, it is just brilliant. We're going to play it out now. It was number one in 1983, and uh, we'll see you after this. Great, we're going to go with uh, your next 80s song choice, uh, Talking Heads, Once in a Lifetime. Uh, why this song? Again, even you know, before the uh, beginning of the 80s, they, they were having hits all over the place, and it really affected me in the, the way I wrote. I was, I was so impressed with 77. Yeah. Um, it, it just gave me a headache when I first listened to it, right? I listened to it and listened to it and listened to it and I got into yeah. it so, so, so much yeah. it affected everything else I wrote afterwards. Wow, so, okay, brilliant, so, yeah. love that. Okay, well, well, let's have a little look at the video. Uh, number 14 in 1981, enjoy. Michael, great to have you here on the show. I'm loving your hair. It's actually longer than my hair. I'm very jealous. <laughs> I've been growing it for a while now. Oh, have you? Yeah. It takes time, doesn't it? Yeah. A lot of effort goes into the main. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Great stuff. Well, we're going to play out uh, the Vapors uh, track called Crazy. Uh, now, this is the lead single uh, from your album Together, isn't it? It is, yeah. Yeah, that, and it's such a great song. track. Mm, yeah. Yeah, really good. Uh, so what inspired this track uh, for the Vapors? Um, I mean, it always kind of starts off with uh, Dave. Um, coming with the the bare bones of um yeah you know some lyrics and uh song structure and melody and stuff yeah and then we kind of um flesh it out so to speak brilliant stuff it was fun doing that track was it yeah, a lot yeah. of fun behind the scenes yeah. brilliant well um i know a lot of the fans uh really like this it's got a really good uh feedback uh so let's check out the video and we will see you after this wicked They told me I was crazy from the start They said that you would only break my heart But you closed your eyes and trusted me You held my hand and believed in me I never really knew what you're about But I've had a great time finding out Never into teasing me, you were into fun and to pleasing me. And crazy don't seem crazy anymore. I don't know what you're waiting for. Won't you come inside and lock the door? I don't know what you're waiting for. I don't care what other people see. I'm in love with you. What 
you're waiting for What you're waiting for I don't think I could have made it on my own I don't even think I'd find my way back home I closed my eyes and trusted you I held your hand and believed What you waiting for? What you waiting for? What you're waiting for Come on, come on What you're waiting for Come on, come on What you're waiting for Come on, come on What you're waiting for What you're waiting for, what you're waiting for? Now, Michael, I've got a question from one of our viewers, uh, Kelly. She wants to know, uh, where's the best venue that you guys like to perform at? I mean, obviously, we are restricted at the moment, but when we can come back to it, where's the one that you just think, yeah, love it there? Um, Dingwalls, yeah. Okay, yeah? yeah That's the one. Yeah, just because it was kind of, you know, an old venue from back in the day. Yeah, so it's kind yeah. of got a lot of memories ah yeah. mm. oh, brilliant well hopefully we'll be able to get back there yeah. uh, soon and also uh, look out for the vapors at that was then this is now uh, which is coming uh, very soon that was really good fun to film wasn't it it was yeah 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 so everyone keep your eyes peeled for that now your first 80s song choice uh, soul to soul back to life ah oh, this is going to be in my head all day now i know it yeah <laughs> it is a happy happy song yeah it yeah. It is. Why have you picked this song for us? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I kind of love kind of Jazzy B and um, Karen Wheeler's voice on it as well. It's really, really good. Um, and it, just a really good kind of dancey, happy, vibey type track that, you know, okay. and lovely groove and everything. And back in that time as well, that was kind of leading that. Yeah type of R&B, so, you know, um, genre, yeah. Definitely. Well, I think we need happy vibe, good vibe uh, songs at the moment. Uh, so this was number one in 1989. We want everyone getting your groove onto this one. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> now, your next song choice, Simple Minds, uh, Don't You Forget About Me. Wow. Absolute timeless classic, isn't it? Yep, yep, yep. Why have you picked this song for us today? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I love Simple Minds, but um, I, in particular, really, really like Mel Gaynor, the drummer, um, uh, to the point where there was a point where he had decided to leave the band and I applied for his job. Oh, wow. <laughs> and then he decided to, he, well, he changed his mind and went back into, you know. And, oh, yeah. we don't have that. Oh. They wrote me a nice letter saying, you know, um, thanks for your interest, but, yeah, Mel has decided to kind of stay. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, we'll save that letter. You never know what will happen yeah. uh, one day. Uh, but here it is. It's number seven in 1985. Absolute brilliant track. Enjoy this. And uh, we look forward to seeing you in just a couple of minutes. Steve Smith, great to have you here. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Really good, thank you. Now, we're really looking forward to playing out this uh, next track by The Vapors, uh, Waiting for the Weekend. Um, that's me. I'm always waiting for the weekend. So I like this track a lot for that reason. Um, <laughs> but it's a brilliant it's, track. Yeah, it's got lots of really good uh, feedback from all your fans, hasn't it? Yeah, I mean, I think it speaks to a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. I think, like you say, everyone's waiting for the weekend, aren't they? So, so true. It just, yeah, it's just... Well, unless you work weekends, obviously. This is true. This is true. Anything goes, so well. it's 2020. But um, yeah, really, <laughs> really good stuff. Uh, Matt says, um, awesome band, loving this track. Uh, and Larry says, great tune uh, and the band. So uh, let's play out Waiting for the Weekend by The Vapors and we'll see you after. <laughs> The Vapors next. Obviously, we've just filmed That Was Then, This Is Now, which we're really excited to see. And uh, can you let us into any gossip? Uh, well, currently we're uh, recording uh, an EP of songs that, uh, for one reason or another, didn't make it onto the album. The songs that we still really think are yeah. strong songs. And, mm -hmm. and the people who've seen those songs live have been saying, where are these songs? Why yeah. aren't they on the album? So I think we're just going to tie up the loose ends from from the album sessions, really. Great. So what tracks are they? Are we allowed to know? Um, not no, at the moment. Not at the moment. He's good. He's <laughs> good. We'll find out. We'll find out. Uh, well, keep us posted here at the show because we love uh, supporting you guys. Uh, now, your next uh, song, uh, Prince, Sign of the Times. Why have you chosen this song for us? Well, a massive, always was a massive Prince fan. Yeah. And um, for me, it's the best song on his best album. Oh, OK. Statement. I like that. No, it's a really popular song on this uh, show. We've played it quite a few times. And I know uh, a lot of people love this song, especially in lockdown. Uh, here it is. And uh, we will see you after this. 
Now, your last song choice, uh, The Jam, Going Underground. Why this song? It's a brilliant song. Again, um, I always, again, I've always loved The Jam, and for me, it's not necessarily their best song, but I think possibly their best single. Mm. Uh, although I did originally choose When They're Young, but uh, When You're Young, but that turned out to be 1979. Oh, oh we've got to keep it 80s. <laughs> got to keep it 80s. Exactly. Yeah, good but, choice. Uh, but Going Underground... Um, Again, like Sign of the Times, as well as being like a great record, it, it's uh, there's a bit of comment in there, a bit of social commentary in there. Yeah, yeah brilliant stuff. Well, let's have a little look at it. Uh, it was released, like you say, in 1980. Uh, great video, and uh, we look forward to seeing you after this. Oh, a huge thank you to the Vapors for being fantastic guests on the show. And just some brilliant 80s song choices there. Oh, yeah. And a huge thank you to you at home for joining me every week. It really is very much appreciated. Thank you. Remember, you can get in contact. Details are on the screen below. I love hearing from you. Now we're going to play out with a classic 80s tune and I will see you same time, same place next week. Turn it down, turn it down, turn it down, turn it down.